Lionel Sanders, he's got to be the most popular triathlete today. But why do we all love him so much? Well, he is the most captivating of all, I think. At least today, or perhaps of all time. I think it's down to his raw honesty, his aggressive racing, and his ability to withstand exotic amounts of pain that certainly contribute to his allure and appeal. But you know what it is? It's his relatability. It's his relatability that really galvanizes people's admiration for him. He wasn't some privileged child prodigy that was carefully nurtured through the ranks of a youth program and into the ITU, methodically taken care of by teams of coaches and mentors. No, he's more like probably you or me in the sense that one day he just said, I'm going to go out and do a triathlon. I'm going to do an Ironman. And then you know what? He went out and learned, figured it out, trial and error, no sports school or development program to show him the way, and he got it done. So that's why he's so likable. That's why he's so relatable. Because he's the same as us. He's similar to us. And he's transparent. He's dead transparent about everything he does. He reveals his feelings and his thoughts to all. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube, on Instagram. He lets it out there. He's not cagey. He doesn't hold back. And, you know, it's his rocky past of substance abuse and a near suicide attempt that kind of make this rise even more dramatic. I mean, it's a harder struggle that he's been through. And more than just dramatic, it's been a life victory, a story with a happy ending, a monumental win. And even though the ending isn't here, what he has achieved is so great, we can safely say it has a happy ending. You know, it's the past of drugs and alcohol that just give him that underdog appeal that everybody loves so much. We all like to root for the struggling underdog, especially when you know he can win it all, but hasn't yet. What we may be witnessing now is the classic hero's journey. And Lionel is still on the rise. You see, in the classic hero's journey, there's that struggle from obscurity and darkness and the fight to survive. And then he battles his nemesis and he overcomes something. And eventually he regains or he gains that uh, upper hand and he realizes that hero status. I think Lionel is still there as he rises to victory. Except, you know, he still hasn't won Kona or that world champs title yet. He hasn't beaten Frodeno. And he hasn't quite done what he needs to rise to victory. In fact, I don't ever think he'll end his hero's journey, even if he does beat Jan, or even if he does win Kona or a world title. Why? Because he's Lionel. He'll still seek out and create opportunities to struggle and to fight and to endure something that's almost impossible, but eventually realize something bigger and better. That's why I think we all love Lionel, because he's relatable and he's on that hero's journey. And he's going to make it, and we know he will. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, please subscribe below. Thank you.